knows how to get our attention, doesn't he, folks? That, that looked like a pretty hard hit. It was a hard Williams hit. There, he yeah. took it, and he absorbed it, and I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, meantime, the Dexter Manley situation is this. Dexter's being called in to talk with NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle later this week concerning, quote, something minor, unquote. The Washington Post is reporting the investigation stems from a recent substance abuse test in which Manley showed up positive, although it was for a minor substance. You remember last March, Dexter checked himself into a hospital with a bad drinking problem, and two days later he was at the clinic in Minnesota. He went through rehabilitation, worked hard to get back into playing shape, and had a good season. It appeared his problems were behind him. He did say today that uh, he was confused by this latest scenario, but he wants to sit down with Pete Rozelle and let him see what kind of person Dexter Manley really is. Meantime, I spoke with Dexter's agent today, Bob Wolf, and he says this substance abuse thing is a complete surprise to him. All I know what I read in the newspaper, and that's the first I even heard of anything. That's the first I've even heard about any type of substance. The only time we've ever talked or had anything to do with the commissioner, but he was just trying to uh, more or less monitor how he was doing as far as uh, alcohol was concerned because he went to Hazleton and he'd been taking the aftercare program and doing everything right. But the National Football League is very protective of their reputation and what goes on there, and they just wanted to make sure everything was fine. Bob, have you talked to Dexter recently? What did he have to say to you? Yes, I've uh, spoken to him maybe uh, several times in the, in the last uh, few hours, as a matter of fact, and he's terribly upset that something like this should be even happening, but we want to respond uh, to the inquiry, and we want to go there and, and cooperate with them and uh, be very forthright, and I'd be very optimistic that everything should be all right. I just want to make sure that we answer everything for them. The meeting with Commissioner Roselle is scheduled for later this week, although Redskin General Manager Bobby Bethers believes it will take place on Friday with Dexter and the remainder of the vets reporting to Carlisle on Saturday. But like everybody else, the news was a shock to the guys at training camp and at the very least puzzling. Well, we don't have the information from the league, so it's in their hands and we're going to have to wait until we get the information. I really don't know what the situation is. Naturally, it's, uh, it's something that you... you, you you hate ever to have happen, and uh, a loss of a Dexter Manley could be, uh, you know, that's a big loss to a football team. But like I said, we just have to wait and see. As a player, it's something that we cannot control because, you know, it's a guy on personal life, and we really don't know what goes on with a guy once he leaves practice and training. But uh, Dex is a big part of the football team, and I just hope whatever it is that things get cleared up. There's a guy who's fielded about 8,000 questions in the last week, not concerning his ability, but his health. Well, Doug Williams may have answered some of those questions when he took this hit in a passing drill at practice. Now, watch his left knee and watch and listen to the reaction of the players and coaches when he gets nailed. Does that make you take a deep breath or what? He got it right in the knee, and if it were not for that brace that he wears, we might be seeing Jay Schrader sooner than we anticipated. But you can see Doug pop right back up. He continued to practice, which has got to be a good sign. But take another look at it, and boy, he really absorbs this shot. Can you imagine where Joe Gibbs' heart was right about this point? But like I say, well, he, I mean, that is some scary stuff right there. But he took the shot, and he absorbed it, so he's all right.